What's going on everybody, welcome back to Simulation for the Nation and welcome back along to the West Coast. Uh, today is, frankly, another glorious sunny day. Uh, we still have the Lometry uh, rollers, uh, the dealer hasn't come back to pick those up yet, so I'm going to hold on to those and I might actually try and sneak in another day's use with them, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and there's another surprise, I've been... I went down to a dealer the other day to have a quick chat with them and then, lo and behold, this has happened. Um, we have ourselves a brand new shiny tractor. Now we've we've got rid of the old John Deere. The um, 7530 Premium has gone. Uh, we've downgraded a little bit, truth be told. This is a 6170R. Uh, so we've reduced the horsepower by, well, kind of in the region of 20-25 horsepower. But it is... I mean, we were able to do that as well, it should be said, because we have such a big fent now as well. So we don't need... Uh, such a big tractor uh, when we, the fence can compensate for that quite handily. So we've gone for the, like I said, the 6170R. Uh, got this for a very good trade in value price as well, so I'm very happy with this. Uh, so we're going to take this straight off today. We've got the kind of the smallest tyres I could equip it with for now. Uh, we do have twin uh, dual wheels to go with it for when we are cultivating, but we're going to put it onto our new sprayer that's yet to be used. So I'm very excited about this. The truck driver has put his ramps down, so all I need to do now is Climb into it and let's get this puppy started up. Alright then, so without crashing or causing any issues, and hopefully it's going to edge this off the back of the ramp here. I think I'm doing okay. There we go. Lovely stuff. We have touchdown. Okay, so we're going to go, like I say, I'm going to plug this straight in and onto our um, new sprayer because we've got um, we've got quite a few fields to cover today. Uh, now we won't be seeing them all because I don't want to don't want to bore all you guys. So, a little bit there, perfect. But it's more just have a quick demonstration and, and quick play with the new toy, really. Whoever parked this sprayer in here. Lovely stuff, so the sprayer is all connected at this point. Uh, I'm going to make sure this truck driver gets out of here properly. Okay, so we've got rid of the truck driver. He is away down the road. You might be able to see some dust down there somewhere. Uh, but we need to go and fill up our sprayer with some uh, with some chemicals. So we can actually use this thing. So our spray, our chemical storage is around the corner. Make sure that gets out okay. So I was having a few issues with the 7530, but primarily I couldn't get rid of that guy who was sitting there and it was beginning to annoy me. Um, so that's one of the main reasons why it's met its end. Uh, I, I'm, I like the 7530, it was a good tractor for us, but this is just a, a better step up really. Um, so we are going to swing into here. Perfect. So as this fills up, we're just going to leave it for a few seconds here and I'll come back to you in a moment. Okie dokie, so we are all full, we're ready to go, all the hoses are tucked back away. Uh, wash my hands in the um, hand wash as well, just so I don't um, get any nasty chemicals anywhere on my person. And now we're going to go ahead straight out through the gates here. There's a couple of fields around the yard we're going to look into first of all, uh, one of which being this one here, and then um, we're going to head over onto the hillside there. Now we've got a lot of fields to do over there, so I'll probably just stay with you whilst I do one of those, and then we'll um, we'll call it a day there. But for now, let's just edge our way forward, and on we go. Wow, that cost me seven and a half thousand pounds to fill up that tank. That is an awful lot of money. Oh, 
I love watching sprays unfold. There's something very hypnotic about it. Let's put you down. Yeah. And away we go. So how are you all today? Hope you're all very well this fine weekend. Uh, hope whatever you're getting up to. Maybe it's some last minute Christmas shopping here or some last minute chores around the farm before before the big day itself. Uh, whatever you're doing, I hope you're enjoying it. Do let me know down below as well what you are getting up to. Um, and if you are currently working hard on the West Coast like we are, um, God knows we've all got a lot to do uh, before Christmas arrives. Let's get the balance around. Up we go. I think I might need some extra weight onto this here, John Deere, just to pull this when it's full. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit tasty. So this uh, sprayer we're using here is 30 meters wide, which is monstrously big for a trail sprayer these days. Um, but it's handling everything more than adequately. Uh, it's big enough for what we need here as well as a farm business. We we're not at the stage. Uh, let's just have that we're not at the stage where we need a, a self-propelled harvester by any stretch. Um, and sure enough, we can't afford a self-propelled harvester at this stage in the business either. So that's why we look to stay with our. Um, Ooh, we've, hit a, we've hit a tree. Let's see if we can get out of this. Let's pretend that one didn't happen. I won't say anything if you don't. So yeah, like I was saying, now we are nowhere near stable enough to actually... Uh, oh, will you just stay me down? That's better. We're nowhere near financially stable enough to acquire such an expensive self-propelled machine. So for now, when we when we can buy a pick up a self-propelled or a trailed spray such as this of such a large size for relatively no money at all, really, um, it would be foolish not to. Frankly, we are doing pretty well at the moment in terms of the size and the coverage we can do. All of our crops are in the ground now as well, apart from one field of soybeans that I have Jamie drilling today um, over by. Uh, River Rock Farm on the higher land up there, so he's going to hopefully get that finished up today, which would be great news. Happy to get that done. As you can see, I've got the Massey parked up over uh, the field there. That field is uh, kind of a work in progress that I'm plowing now and again. Um, it's not the biggest field, and it's it's not going into um, it's not going into cereal crop this year. It will be cover crop, so that's why there's not much of a rush uh, right now. The um, primary um, tasks are to complete the spraying really. Spraying and uh, crop establishment so that can wait for a little bit longer. Now what we are going to do because we are using GPS here and the tractor is equipped I should have probably started this at the beginning but never mind there we go Now I have also installed the crop sprayer add-on from the uh, mod contest. For some reason or other it is not quite working at the moment with our sprayers. So I'm going to have to have a look in the game as to see why that is. See if there's uh, amendments I can make to the script. Uh, if you have had that problem in the past or you experienced or know of the issue as to why, then please do let me know. I'd be very interested to figure that one out. Because um, what we should be seeing is kind of like an auto shut off, which isn't quite happening at the moment. But not to worry. We're going to head back over to the other side of the field here, we've got one more quick pass we have to make and then we are we are done here. So we're going to go up the hill and so with this final pass here we should get this field finished here, we're only really doing the one side uh, and then we're good to go. So that's field number one sprayed and in the book so we're going to uh, just top it with our pesticides and then head on up the hill uh, and go to the, the fields around the sides of Little Woolhope and we'll get those finished up. Uh, but for now I'm just going to finish this one and then I'm going to put some weights on the tractor I think just to kind of give me a little bit more stability because the spray is kind of um, overpowering the tractor at the moment in terms of balance which is of course not ideal. Um, so we're just going to head down 
into the yard now once I'm fully folded up. Lovely stuff. And let's see if we can just put a little bit more chemicals into here. Man, spraying is an expensive hobby. Ooh. Okay. So, we've got the full tank. We're just before we go any further, like I mentioned, I'm just going to see if I can add some wheel weights onto here. Hopefully, that should give me a little bit more control. Let's see how this looks. Connect that. Try and get out of here without knocking anything off the sprayer. That'd be an expensive error. And the track here, we're out. Okay, so we're going to head on down to some of our fields now and we'll see what we can get done here. Flashing lights on for the party. Overall, I do very much like this tractor. It is nice and clean. The view from any direction, really, panoramic view in particular, is fantastic. I do like how they got rid of the uh, kind of what were the B pillars here, I believe, uh, on both sides. So you do get a real all-round fantastic view. The controls are very ergonomic, all on the um, the seat arm here, so they're all within a. Um, all the main controls that we saw, all within reach, uh, which is very handy. And it's going to be a great tractor for us for uh, predominantly through the summer. We'll do some light cultivation work, a lot of leading corn, uh, a lot of trailer carting work, and bale carting, for example. Um, so that will be it'll be great in that respect. So I am very much looking forward to getting it working hard there. Um, but for right now, we are just going to wing it into this gateway here. And we'll make a start in this monstrous field. So as you can see, as we look at our, <clears throat> as we look at our field map here, uh, we are currently just around the village of Little Woolhope here. Uh, so we've got all of these fields down the east side of the village to complete. So to the, right now we're going to start with some uh, with some barley, with some spring barley here, and then we've got a few fields of uh, OSR and then some wheat as well to go at down the bottom. So we're going to um, crack on with that now. What I am going to do though is I'm not going to uh, keep you listening on to me yabble on as I spray this. So I'm going to. Set up a time lapse here and we'll get powering through this as we go. Uh, if time lapse is not your thing, don't forget to stick around for the end and I'll see you very shortly.
What's going on everybody, we're back. Uh, so that field didn't take too long to do at all, nice and quick and easy. Uh, and right now, we still have plenty left in the tank as well. So we are going to head on over to our next field, which is going to be the next one directly ahead. Uh, now unfortunately that one doesn't quite have... Uh, the one following of that has a little break in the hedge line at the top, so you can get through there with like a combine with the header on for example. Uh, this one doesn't have that, so we're going to have to go back down to the gate at the bottom uh, and then we'll cut, on, cut our way through. But as it is a nice uh, mild day, there's very little wind out there as well, so it makes perfect spraying conditions really. So we're going to crack on and get as much of this done as possible today. Uh, and that'll be a real nice tick uh, off the list of jobs. Although that said, it looks like we might be able to sneak through there after all. So that's going to save us a little a few seconds. So I'm going to push on with this and get the rest of these done for today. Uh, we have, I've got a phone call from Jamie there, he has finished up that last field of beans. Oh, no, my eyes were deceiving me, we can't get through. I might come back one day with a chainsaw and amend that, I think. Um, but yeah, so I'll head down to the bottom now. But yeah, so we have finished drilling, which is great news, so we're going to be spending a few days in the workshop in the next, uh, next week or so, just servicing the drill down, cleaning it all up, that kind of thing, getting everything ready as it gets put away for the summer. Uh, and then we're on to grass work really, we've got to wait for the gra the hay lands to grow. Uh, they'll probably need a little bit more fertilizer at some stage in the next uh, two or three weeks I would say, but uh, right now they're looking okay. Um, but yeah, we will leave that um, leave that for another day. So yeah, we're in a good position now, very happy with the progress we've made. So we've just got to kind of wait and let everything have a chance to grow, uh, which is a very satisfying time of the year when you're a farmer. Um, so far this John Deere with the wheel weights on has been handling the sprayer much better uh, really so that's, a, that's very good news um, I'm going to unfold the sprayer again here and I'm going to leave you at this stage so thank you very much for watching as always uh, I have been Simulation for the Nation you have been fantastic if you do have any comments, questions or feedback then don't forget to drop those in the, uh, below the line uh, if you've enjoyed this video then please slap that thumbs up button if you haven't then hit that thumbs down don't forget to um, smash that subscribe button for more from Simulation for the Nation. Uh, once again, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy what you're doing, stay safe, but most importantly, happy farming.